All right, friends. I hope everybody's having a, a really good night. Got something really good, really powerful that I want to share with you. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to really help you. It's going to equip you. And it's going to help you understand some of the times that we're in. You know, you can look at, at any nation of the world and see that we're living in, in different times right now. We're living in just uh, a, a time that there's a lot of things that a lot of people have never seen, never expected that they would see in their life. And so this is a time that we have to really be listening to the Holy Spirit, that we have to lean into the Lord. So what I want to talk to you about is a very powerful prophetic dream and vision that I had last night. So probably about two o'clock this morning, um, I, I had this dream of this extreme demonic warfare. I mean, it was so real. It was so tangible. I could literally feel it in my dreams. You could just feel the demonic in, in my dreams. And it was so powerful. It it tried to bring fear, but it did not. It tried to come in and like overtake, but but it could not. And, and, and as soon as that happened, I heard the Lord just speak to me so strongly in this dream. And the Lord said, if the church would understand how much power and how much authority that they actually have, that they have available to them, this right here would not affect the natural realm one bit. So I woke up and I got up and I started praying and, and man, I, I just started, you know, asking God for insight, wisdom, revelation. I said, God, this is a prophetic dream that, that I have to share so people will understand. And, and like I said, in the dream, the warfare was so real. It was tangible. You could feel it. And one thing God said is that there is going to be another wave of perversion released on America and the nations of the world. And I was like, Lord, I mean, worse than it already is. And the thing is, this is the third time God has spoke that specific thing to me. And, you know, is the first two times that the Lord spoke that, that to me, something, you know, within the next month just happened in our nations and in around the nations of the world. And so whenever something like that happens, it just makes me want to, 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 to raise my standard in fasting, in prayer, in seeking the Lord. And then the Lord just started speaking to me about America, about what's going on. There's going to be new accusations against America. There's going to be greater threats against people in America. No, listen, listen, this is not doom and gloom. There's going to be more attacks against uh, the government and the president. But this is what the Lord said. Okay, track with me on this. This is how much authority and power the enemy has. Our authority and power is up here. But if we operate right here, the enemy's going to win. What the Lord has shown me is our power and authority is way up here. But so many times the bride of Christ is down here. And the Lord just kept showing me. He was like, if we understood that through the words that come out of our mouth, we could shift everything in America in one day. We could shift the nations of the world in one day. This is a time and a season that the men and women of God have got to rise up in America and the nations of the world. I remember many prophets prophesied eight and 10 years ago that if people continue the path of the church of like the seeker friendly model, and they remove the Holy Spirit. There will be a day they will regret removing the Holy Spirit because they will call on the Lord, but they push the Holy Spirit so far away that the, the, the things of the nations will start to overtake the church. My friends, we're seeing that right now. But I prophesy this to you today. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. And so if you and I will rise up, we will start to live a lifestyle of fasting and prayer and consecration that, that we're going to, we're going to shift things. We're going to change things. It's just like the ministry God gave my wife and I, it's roar. It's revival, outpouring, awakening, and reformation. And, you know, it's 5780, the, the Hebrew calendar year of the voice, the, the year of the roar. I mean, this is the time that the church, the believers have got to rise up and they've got to start speaking 
the, the word of God. We have to stand because the enemy's given us everything that it's got. The problem is the church isn't running on all cylinders. You know, when, when, when the church is passive, when the church is not fasting, when the church is not having prayer meetings, when the church is seeker friendly, when they're removing the things of the spirit of God, there's not going to be power. That's why in a lot of cities and regions, you know, just the, the world is taking over. But I declare this is the time that the body of Christ has got to, to rise up. I mean, I'm wearing my Appeal to Heaven shirt tonight. We had prayer tonight. I wore my Appeal to Heaven shirt because I'm ready to see revival and awakening and outpouring. And when all of that happens, then true reformation happens in the nations of the world. You know, one of the, the reasons that I'm partnering right now with Charisma Magazine to do these podcasts for the Charisma Podcast Network is Voices of the New Era is, is I want to start talking to people that are going to be leading the charge in the new era because this is the time that, that God is about to, to get his church back. And I just want to prophesy this to you today, that the enemy is having headway because the church has laid down. Arise, you sleeper. Get up, Ephesians 6, 10 in the Passion, it says that God wants to do an explosive work in us so that he can do an explosive work through us. You can't give what you don't have. So many people are scared. You know, even in our, our city, we've been having church for, for five weeks. I mean, on Pentecost Sunday, we did a fire tunnel. Most people are still not even going back to church because they're scared. Well, if you're constantly scared of everything that the world has and every time the cnn or or msn or fox news reports and you get scared we're not going to have any power when is the time that the church is going to arise and i heard a prophecy today and it was by jeff jensen and it was so powerful he said that the church is going to go in two directions it's going to be two separate churches one's going to go this way and two's going to go this way do you know the majority of people that call me right now that are frustrated with their home church, this is what they say. We're more educated than our pastor gives us credit for. We read Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and Acts, and we don't see it in the church. Our church is full of programs, games, gimmicks. We don't see any power. Guys, I'm telling you, this is the time that the revival-minded people are going to arise. You know, for far too long, people have pushed away the, the kingdom message. Well, what is the kingdom message? It is dominion. That's what God has called us to, to steward the earth. Well, the enemy understands. The enemy is having a heyday with a lot of places, a lot of churches, a lot of regions, a lot of states. You just watch the news. Not for very long, though. Well, I'm telling you, now is time that the church has to arise. This is a clarion call for, for people to understand that the church has to arise. There are revival centers, revival hubs, revival churches rising up all over America. And, and they're starting to take their rightful place. Because in this powerful dream that I had, I've never in my life in a dream felt the demonic as strong as I did. And it was coming, it was coming close. And, and like I said, the Lord showed me that there is another wave of perversion. You know, the Bible talks about the, tri the tricks, schemes, and wiles of the devil. You know, there's so many things that are happening right now, but I promise you this one thing. We're on the verge of the greatest turnaround, the greatest breakthrough that the church has ever seen. And the problem is so many people cry out to God and say, oh, God, do this. Oh, God, do that. God gave us dominion. God gave us his son, Jesus Christ. God sent the Holy Spirit. And God has given us the written word. What more do we need? If Jesus and the Holy Spirit and the Bible is not enough revival for you, you got issues. My friend, now is the time that you have to stand up for your family, your city, your church, the nation. We got to be people of prayer. We got to fast. We, we can't just come to church for country club Christianity. This is time that, that, that there's going to be a separation from the people who play church, from the people who are the church. You, you got to start walking in the signs, wonders, and miracles. The church is all about the cloud. It's not about the crowd. 
It's about the manifestation of the power and the presence of God. People are going to become so hungry. There's about to be a cry for revival. The Bible clearly states in Matthew, those that hunger and thirst for righteousness shall be filled. There are people all over that, that are hungry for a move of God. They've heard the prophets prophesy for years, that they've heard the uh, apostles make declarations, decrees. They've heard people talk about revivals of old. There is a hunger inside of them. What I see in, in, in my great nation of America and the nations of the world is not what the Bible talks about. It's not, that's not what the kingdom looks like. See, Matthew 6 and 10 says, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Earth is supposed to be a mere reflection of heaven. Do you think what America and the nations of the world looks like right now is what heaven wants, what heaven desires? No, but I'm here to prophesy and tell you this. When I come out of my prayer room, I am nothing but encouraged. I am strengthened. I'm excited because God has a remnant that, that is rising up in this hour. God has a remnant that, that is about to, to move and shake. God has a remnant. And I want to ask you today, are you part of the remnant? You know, the remnant actually means a fragment of what is left. What is left of the body that actually believes the word of God, that can tap into the prophetic word? You know, Second Chronicles, it talks about, I love when it says, listen to the prophets. What are the prophets saying? I've been listening to what Chuck Pierce has been prophesying what Lena Vosser, Nate Johnson, you know, different people are prophesying and, and uh, you know, Apostle Dutch Sheets, and he, they're talking about another great awakening, an outpouring of God. Tim Sheets has talked about the angels' armies and, and just great breakthroughs that are coming. You know, um, Apostle Dutch has been talking about the new era, that we're going to walk in power and dominion during this, this next decade. So I want to encourage you, friends, we're going to win, but it's all hands on deck. It's not sitting around. It's not passive Christianity anymore. It's going for the things of God. You know, revival and awakening was fun to talk about, but, but it is no longer a, an option. You know, it, it, it's not an opinion. It is a mandate from God that we have to walk in. So my friends, now is the time. Now is the season. You got to throw your life into what God has called you to. We need everybody walking in their kingdom assignment. I hope this video encouraged you, strengthened you, challenged you, and hopefully it, it just awoke something inside of you. If you've been sleeping on any prophetic word, allow God to wake you up. Allow God to stir you up. You know, I just, I just tell you right now, you need to go on a fast. You need to spend extra time with the Lord because now is the time that the church has to arise. Love you. God bless y'all. And I'm going to start doing some more videos because I am stirred up by the spirit of the Lord and what God is doing. So you can go follow us on Facebook, my YouTube channel, go to our website, jojodawson.net. I'm telling you, we're going to start holding a, a lot more conferences at the Roar Kingdom Center because it's time that revival and outpouring and awakening and reformation is about to happen in America and the nations of the world. Love y'all and have an amazing revival field nap.